Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Laura and this is Laura Licious Recipes. Today we are making macaroni and beef goulash the American way. Now I don't have macaroni today, but I do have shell pastas and I have one pound of hamburger, about a half a cup of onion, red onion. You can use any onion you like but I prefer the red onion. We have a half a cup of bell pepper, a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, two tablespoons of sugar, and two teaspoons of salt. I have a can of petite diced tomatoes and a can of tomato sauce. And of course, two cups of the pasta shells. Okay, so now I'm gonna move you over here so you can see everything go in and be cooked. And I forgot to turn my light on. And there we go. Now we can see everything. Get you situated. I've got the water already started on the pasta. The pasta water. So we're going to add half of this salt to that water. Okay, and we're going to start browning up our hamburger meat. I don't add butter or oils or anything like that because the meat itself will definitely create a lot of oil, grease, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to get this fried up. I want to just let you know that this is a perfect dish for kids. It's not too adult. It's not too kid. It's just delicious. Hence the name, Laurelicious Recipes. Now you could add Italian seasonings, but then it just changes the whole dish. And we wouldn't want to do that. We want the dish the way it's supposed to be. My mom used to make, oops, <laughs> my mom used to make this for me when I was a kid. And I think my husband's mom might have made it for him when he was a kid, too. It's very basic. I really like eating this. I know that the last video I made was also a pasta dish, but that was a few days ago. So here we are with the new pasta dish. Okay, I'm going to let that start frying up a bit, turn that up some, and I'm going to let it fry, and then when it's all done, we will come back and show you the rest, and it's a snap, I mean a snap to get done. We've already got the water bowl, and it's going real good, so I'm going to go ahead, and now I'm going to wait just a few minutes. Now that the hamburger is browning up a bit, we're going to add our uh, salt and our pepper. Our red onion. And our green bell pepper. And it's about to start smelling really good in here. Give it a mix. It's amazing how fast this comes together. Other than starting the water before I started recording, it's only been, what, five minutes maybe at most? Okay, we're going to go ahead and add the noodles to the water. Then stir it up just a little bit.
and that he sound a bit there. Okay. Now we're going to drain this once the meat is all cooked. The onions are already starting to look translucent. The bell peppers are starting to get a little soft. Yeah, I remember I eating this a lot when I was a kid. It's almost a kind of a poor man's meal, I guess, if you think about it. It's so inexpensive to make, but even so, it's still delicious. Mm. Get a spoon. Get all that off of there. Okay. Let's start with the spoon. And when I chop my veggies, I like to use my chopper that I got sitting over there in the background. That thing is wonderful. I used it the other day and diced up a bunch of white and yellow and red onions. Stuck each one. I diced some of the white, yellow, and red, and then I chopped some of the white, yellow, and red, and then I put each one in their own baggie, wrote on it what they were, and how they were chopped or diced, the date, and, and double bagged them with a one gallon baggie, and a freezer baggie, and stuck them in the freezer, and I don't have to worry about chopping onions anymore, because I did it all in one day, I don't have to cry, but the one day, so yeah, that was a nice thing to do. And I think I'm going to take the rest of my bell peppers. I've got some yellow and red. I'm going to slice some and dice some and chop some. So yeah, it's going to be pretty tasty. And very effective. For when I don't feel like chopping it all up on one day, it's already done. We got that done. And we are about ready to drain this. Yep. When you make spaghetti or anything that has tomato in it, if you just add a couple of tablespoons of sugar, you'd be surprised. People come running to your house for your spaghetti. Okay, we're going to drain this off. Looking really good. Okay, that's strange. Now we're going to open up the tomato sauce. Yeah, buddy. And the petite, the, the <laughs> I'll get it out. The petite diced tomatoes. And the sugar. You turn that heat down some. You splash it out all over my counter. Get it mixed in there. Did you know we're almost done? Okay, grabbing my hamburger meat. We're going to stick that right into the pan. Oh boy. Even my grandchildren love this. There's nothing that you can't not love about it. 
simple. It's sweet. It's savory. It's uh, it's just good. Get that mixed in. Stir that pasta right quick. Okay. And if I have a lull, I'm not talking. I'm still new at this, and I'm trying. But I know that the food that I'm making, I wouldn't steer you wrong. It's good stuff. Was that all saying? It's good stuff, Maynard. <laughs> My husband and I have had this plenty of time, so he's probably not going to do a taste test tonight. But just know that it is really, really good. I did add a, a little bit of extra of the bell pepper because we like the bell pepper. We're just going to let this sit for about, well, I don't know, until the noodles are done. And once it's done, we will drain the noodles and uh, put the meat and the sauce in with the noodles. And it'll be time to eat. So I'm not going to make you wait for the noodles to cook. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, when I added that sauce to the pan, I turned my heat down to about medium low. More on the low side than the medium. So, now it's time to do the noodles. I'm going to go drain them. And we'll be adding the sauce to the noodles. Okay, y'all, the noodles are drained. I'm going to get them out of the strainer and back into the pot. You hear me sizzling it? <laughs> get all that water out. And we come to the stove. Oh, boy. This is going to be good. Turn the heat off on the sauce there. Over and here we go. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be so good. I can hardly wait. You know me, I have no patience when it comes to food because I love it. You mix that in, and there you have it. Macaroni, and in this case, shells and beef goulash let it set for about five minutes to cool down a bit and it's ready to eat yum 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 what's that saying yummy for the tummy you could sing a little jingle i like food because it is yummy i will put this in my tummy Okay, y'all. Thank you for watching. I'll have a blessed day. Until next time. Bye.